morning and Merry Christmas, you guys. It is 10, 18. I'm gonna go upstairs, see what's there to eat. Also ask my mom if it's time to open presents. Hey, okay. mom. Okay. Is it time to open presents? No. As you saw, no, it's not time to open presents. My mom is making a ceviche. I'll probably end up helping her. I'm just going to. Don't be all lovey-dovey with me when you've been so rude. Mom's making ceviche, so I'll probably end up going to help her. I will try to do some reading today. Don't worry, this weekend reading vlog is not gonna be one of those, ooh, she did not know about reading. And I was also called out by my friend Katie at work. <laughs> She's like, you need to read more. So <laughs> Katie, if you're watching this, I, I've tried to read more. Hi guys, so today is Saturday, it's the day after Christmas. I don't know why I was gonna say Thanksgiving. Things were, were fun, you know? I did read. I am about 70% done with A Sky Beyond the Storm and I'm just going to tell you how heartbroken I am right now. Things are getting good. Lai is one of those characters where I'm like, ugh. There's this one mission they had to do. They're like, no distractions. Do what you gotta do. And then, of course, Laia being Laia. I can't fault her for it because she just has such a big heart. But things didn't end up going the way they were supposed to. As far as finales go, for some reason, there are some parts where I'm like, OMG, I can't believe this happened. And then there's some parts where I'm like, wait, what am, what am I reading? I don't know if it's my own mindset that I maybe wasn't ready to read the book, but there's just some scenes where it just causes me to forget what I just read in that moment. I don't reread it though. I tell myself if it was important, it's probably something that I should have remembered. And if my brain is not remembering it, it's because probably it's not important. I do have a feeling that I will finish this today. The goal now is to actually read Midnight Sun. That book is thick. She, a thick, where I should say he a thick boy because it is from Edward's point of view. So I don't have plans on finishing it tomorrow. Like I said in my last vlog, I don't start new books the day I finish a book. The goal is to get a huge chunk as maybe like 30% of it done. That way I could read more throughout the week and finish it by the end of the month. That way I can go into January without having something on my currently reading shelf. I'll probably end up doing a video of all the books I did in 2020. I did do one for 20 18 I believe. I think actually that is it for right now. So it's 5.06. Just chill for a sec. Catch up guys before I go to bed. I have 100 pages left. We're we are getting to the nitty gritty of this and my heart is breaking. It's, it's too much. What I just read cannot be what it is because if it is what it is, <laughs> where's the happiness? <laughs> I am traumatized. Obviously, I'm done with A Sky Beyond Storm by Sabata here. I just don't understand why it had to be so horrible. I mean, it ended okay. We got the best possible ending. I don't understand why some characters have to have so much terrible happen to them. But then again, we couldn't have all three of them end up happy, right? Is that the thing that Sabah wanted us to think? Like, oh, <laughs> these two can be happy, but this one can't be. Exactly. She said it best, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She gets me. So I basically had a full-blown conversation with her. I, I told her everything that I liked about this book, everything that I dislike, and hello, you are in my shot. Okay, that's butt in the face, okay. I have no words, you guys. I probably will talk more about it tomorrow. Right now, I'm just in shock. I am in pain. My heart is broken. And now I'm just numb. I read a book. Yay. I don't think I have anything else to say. I, I literally, I have, I have nothing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And the plan is to start Midnight Sun. And I'll talk a little bit more about this after I had a good night's sleep. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is Sunday, the third day of this weekend reading vlog. Wow, I vlogged for three days. Anyways, I actually already started Midnight Sun. I am 14 pages in, still chapter one. Chapter one is 22 pages. I actually just ordered some lunch because I was hungry. Let's face it, I'm always hungry. This is a 600 page book. I feel like this is the largest book I've read all year. Actually, not really. The largest book I've read all year is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. I did read the leak chapters and what 
I remember from them. I think I stopped reading the lead chapters when they get back from Port Angeles. At least that's what I remember from it. Like that was the last chapter that was part of the leaked. I can't wait. <laughs> to read this monstrosity. And when I mean monstrosity, I don't mean it in quality wise, I mean it in size wise. I've slept, I've come to terms with the ending of A Sky Beyond the Storm. I was just laying there and thinking about how everything was just horrible for this one character. And then I started thinking to myself, wow, it was actually prophesized though. And it was I who didn't catch it. Honestly, my hurt feelings is my own fault because Sabah has actually given us this ending to this one character. Either we didn't listen or we just didn't care. And for me it was I didn't listen. Obviously I care about these characters. The ogre said it and this one character just had to lose everything to be able to succeed. And it's just, it's a horrible way for it to go, but it just made them stronger. Other than that, I feel like the ending was still just not the ending I wanted. And it's horrible to say because the ball worked two years on it and do the story the way she wanted to tell it. And honestly, it's perfect in that way. But as a reader, you know, I'm never satisfied, okay? I, I want more. Um, hopefully she gives us a little like short story, a little novella of what's to come. But other than that, I solidly give it five stars. I will probably check back after I probably read 100 or 150 pages. Well, hello. I will admit I fell asleep. I was on chapter two and all of a sudden my ass felt heavy. I was like, Maybe I'll close them for a second. Is it just me or is the font in Midnight Sun smaller than when Twilight was published? I wanna say that I will continue reading, but I'm not. Did not read the chunk that I wanted to read, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm.